and do a very quick video on my soap shelves inside the shop just to show you what I have available right now. There's Tawanda. That was the one I made. I think that's the last video that went up, so that's that one there. Cross, we got Lime Cooler. And Pink Sugar. Remember that one I was making? I made that on video and said how dark it was going to go. Well, it did. And the pink and the white still nice in there because I didn't colour that portion or those portions of the soap. Coming down, that's Rosemary Mint. It's just a very basic soap with rosemary and mint essential oils. Mm -mm -mm. Next up I have Festival. This one I didn't film. In fact, there's a few I haven't filmed. I don't film every single um, soap that I make, but uh, this one I filmed before. So if you want to see the making, I think there's a making of Festival. This one is the Nag Champa with wood smoke and patchouli. And it's just some chamomile on the top. Then I have Sweetening of Life, which is a nice essential oil blend. It smells a bit like um, Cathedral Incense. I love that one. Coming down, there's magpie. So magpie is another essential oil one. That's patchouli and spearmint. It smells really good. It's such a nice blend. It's just a 50-50 blend of those two oils. It's very good. Next up is So Fresh and So Clean. So this one is the one that I made, Ruby, Ruby, Ruby. It was that one. So I named it So Fresh and So Clean because that's exactly what it smells like. That one there. Forest Floor is... Um, sorry, 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 sorry. Forest Floor is the Joe Malone dupe, which was the English Oak and Hazelnut. I called it Forest Floor. I don't have one open, but you've seen that one being made. If you haven't, then go back and watch that one. That's still up on the channel. Coming down... I have Ghost Smoke. Ghost Smoke is one of my favourites. This is a vanilla... Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Oh my God, it's just so good. This one is like... Seriously, that is just the best vanilla I've ever smelled. It came out really pretty. It's just, um, it's got vanilla seeds in it and then there's a little sort of some pewter mica lines I did. And then over is another essential oil one, Citrus Limonum, and this is just really super lemony with some poppy seeds. Yeah. Then we've got 4 and 20 Blackbirds, which is that really nice rich damson plum patchouli. I love that. That one sells a lot in the shop. It's very pretty. Then down to Indian sandalwood. This is one of the scents that Heine sent to me, so I'm gonna send her one of these. I just need to put a box together, so she'll probably get like one of each of all of these soaps. I need to sort that out and message her and tell her I'm on it. Next is Elijah's Comfort, the one that we made on video a few weeks ago, so that one's ready now. That's another essential oil blend. And then finally, I've got Wild Fig, which is here. It's just beautiful. I love this one. Smells like a really nice, rich, earthy fig. So yeah, that's my soups in the shop right now. And I'm busy making whip soap. So here's the whip soap shelf. So I've got Winter is Dead, which is a honeysuckle jasmine. Lime cooler, which is the same as the soaps, like a sweet, sugary lime. Ethereal Seas is essential oils. And that's got basil, geranium lime and something else <laughs> i can't remember uh dark carnival i need to make some more of that that's nearly all gone then old seaside town this smells amazing i made these last week so they've just gone onto the website at the weekend and then rosa passiflora is a really nice passion fruit rose it smells a little bit like um rose jam by lush but kind of uh, a bit more rosy and sweet i really really like that one so yeah, those two are my favourites at the moment. So that's it. These are what I'm working on at the moment. I'm just got I've got loads more whip soaps to make, so that's what I'm doing now. So I've got empty spaces to fill all the way down. There's some hair rinses there. I need to do some more of those as well. So yeah, busy, busy at the moment. And here's the view you never see. <laughs> that's what I look at when I'm filming. So you see over there. <laughs> 
and behind that counter you can see I've got my tablet set up I've just been packaging soap so I'm just finished and wanted to show you what I got there's my photo photo taking station <laughs> so that's where I take most of the pictures for my soaps and things like that and then there's my steps and my signs so I'm closed today just had a delivery of Epsom salts and there's other stuff there that's just been delivered as well my mold so yeah I need to have a good tidy up now and that's outside not a lot happening down there that's just a little alleyway going down to the street so yeah that's what's happening I just thought I'd do a quick update video to let you know what I'm up to there's some perfumes some eight empty shelf space ready for body creams to be made this week so yeah soaps are sort of kind of up to date at the moment so how many have I got I've got uh three six nine twelve 15 types of soap in stock right now so that's cool okay i will see you soon bye